Hello, and welcome to the Movie Universe. I'm your host, Movie Fan. Today, I will be talking about Reboot. What is Reboot? Well, it's a show unlike any other. In fact, it was the first one of its kind. The story takes place inside the internet, at a city called Mainframe. Inside, there are computer characters who lead ordinary lives, going to school, doing work, police, that sort of thing. And there are a few who protect it from viruses, and especially gamers. These protectors are Bob, Dot, and Enzo. Bob is a guardian specially trained to deal with viruses, and especially trained to deal with games. Dot and Enzo are friends who help him with these games and to fight the viruses. Later on, they do become guardians, packing serious firepower. For Bob, mostly he needs just one tool, and that's Glitch, his little key tool that enables him to shoot lasers and to become all sorts of things, mostly in video games. For the whole show, it mostly goes like this. They're just doing ordinary things, you know, Dot has a diner that she runs, and then out of nowhere, the computer mainframe says, Warning, incoming game. Warning, incoming game. And a purple box just comes down and lands anywhere on the city. Bob, Dot, and Enzo go inside the game and play it. Their main objective here is to make sure that the player, or the user as they call them, does not win the game. Why is this important? Well, apparently if the user wins the game, a piece of the city is gone forever, and they can't let that happen. So that's why they do everything they can to make sure that the user does not win. And the games are always different, too, which really makes it a lot of fun. You never know what kind of game's going to come out of the sky. Like, there was one game that looked something like Dragon's Lair. There was a sports one. There was an Undersea World one. There was all kinds of incredible games. Now, of course, when Bob and his friends get inside the game, they have to become the various characters that are in it. How they do it is they tap the badge that's on their lapels, and they say, Reboot. And when Bob and his friends win the game, the user loses and everything's back to normal. Now, I'm sure you're wondering, who are these users? Well, they never do say for sure, but they do hint at the possibility that the users are people from outside their internet world. Basically, you and me. But of course, it's not just the users they have to deal with. There are also viruses. Mainly two, Hexadecimal and Megabyte. Hexadecimal is a very powerful, chaotic virus. She seems to have the abilities to perform all kinds of incredible electric attacks, almost similar to witchcraft. And there are times that she could really freak someone out, because every bit of her face is just shown in the form of masks. Her lips don't move, they just look like the masks of comedy and tragedy that you find in drama. Pretty much like that, but then there are times she looks like this, and that could be pretty freaky. And then there's Megabyte. He's a very powerful order virus, as they call him. In fact, Megabyte actually described himself best in the opener for Season 3. My format, virus. To corrupt and conquer. That describes him to a T, but there's more to him than just that. He's incredibly strong and very cunning. When it comes to Megabyte, you never really know what he's going to do until it happens. Here's an interesting little fact for you. Hexadecimal and Megabyte are actually brother and sister, and Megabyte is voiced by legendary voice actor Tony J. I'll tell you, if he wasn't already awesome enough just by how he looked, having Tony J's voice in there makes him even more awesome. Because when you hear him, he sounds cunning. He sounds evil. It's absolutely perfect. For the whole series, it switches back and forth with them dealing with the user and the video games and dealing with Megabyte or Hexadecimal. It went that way for Seasons 1 and 2. Then in Season 3, it became more about dealing with Megabyte and Hexadecimal. And then when Season 4 came around, it went for 8 episodes and ended on a big cliffhanger. You want to know what happens? Well, Megabyte gets an upgrade and becomes a Trojan virus, which gives him the ability to disguise himself as anyone or anything he chooses. In the end, he takes over the mainframe, and he says that he's going to hunt them all down and destroy them. So you could say that in the end, the bad guy wins. Truth be told, they ended it like this due to budget cuts, because originally they did 13 episodes per season, and then it started to dwindle down, and then when they got to season four, they only had enough for eight. Of course, they ended it like this on the hopes that if they can make a comeback, they could pick up from there. And the funny thing, even though it technically has four seasons, 
They were played pretty sporadically, I think is the word I'm looking for here. I say that because it started in 1994 and ended in 2001. In fact, from 1994 to 1995, those were the first two seasons. In 1996, there was nothing. Then in 97, they came back with season three, which ended in 1998. Then in 1999 and 2000, there was nothing. And in 2001 was season four. You see what I mean about that? And the funny thing, and I remember back in the day, all they kept showing were season one and season two. They never really showed season three. And I don't remember them showing season four back in the day either. But by that time, I moved on to other things. It's a really good show, definitely worth watching, except for maybe season four, because I did catch up on that, and that was a little eh at best. And I will tell you this, this show was definitely ahead of its time. In fact, this was the first series to be made completely out of CGI. Sure, the look of it is dated now, but back then, this was pretty innovative because such a thing had never been done for a TV series before. But of course, when it comes to a series like this, you really need to see it for yourself in order to get a better spectrum as to what it's all about. So if you haven't seen it, and I'm pretty sure you haven't, check it out. I think you'll love it. But I must warn you, things were a lot different then than they are now when it comes to CGI. So you need to go in with an open mind. This is Movie Fan, signing off.